Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all a huge product empties. Surprisingly, this month I have a lot of products that I've emptied out. Maybe because a lot of them I used up in the January and they actually finished up by the month of Feb. So yeah, now without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pick up randomly. First here I have is this aloe vera gel for shaving. And this one was from this brand called Serona. And I had this for the longest time. I think for almost one and a half year, I finally finished it up. It was a nice, you know, soothing aloe vera gel. I mean, just regular normal. I will not be buying it again, but yeah, it had a lot of strong smell of mint, maybe because of the waxing thing. But uh, yeah, I finally emptied it out and I'm not gonna buy it again. Then I have a lot of products from the Dermaco because like I regularly use their products. First I have is their really like a recent launched product, which is the Focus and Ceramide Barrier Repair Moisturizer. This is all like gone. I really enjoyed using this moisturizer. This this one was a recent launch with their Urea moisturizer and I like both of them. I still haven't finished out the Urea one because it's a bit bigger in size but I finished up this one, the barrier repair one from uh, the Dermaco and you guys know I love any product that claims to repair your barriers or have got ceramides and peptides because I think they work the best for my skin so I finished this up. Then I finished two of these Dermaco serums. I have the 10% vitamin C serum. So I basically emptied both of the 10% vitamin C serums. So one I was using on my face and the other serum I was using on my body. I really enjoy using this Dermaco's vitamin C serum. Although now I have restocked on the Kojic Acid Serum because I was breaking out a lot because of one product that I'll talk further. And I have got some, you know, pimple marks on my face and to get rid of that, I'll be using the Kojic Acid one. But vitamin C serum from the Dermaco has to be my favorite. So I emptied out two bottles of that. Another thing that I emptied out is this sunscreen. Summers are coming guys. So I am going to stock up on my sunscreen. But I finished up the one person hyaluronic acid sunscreen aqua gel from the Dermaco. Like it's all gone. I love the sunscreen so much. They've recently launched their long lasting sunscreen in the same one person hyaluronic acid variant. So like I told you, I have been using the Dermaco's Kojic Acid range to help reduce my dark spots. This is the one person Kojic Acid Daily Face Wash. It's a creamy foam based face wash that won't dry out your skin at the same time ensure that it helps with cleansing your skin, removing the excess dirt and sunscreen and helping with some dark spot reduction to good end. Once I'm done using this, I follow it up with the two person Kojic Acid Serum. Now this has got two person Kojic Acid acid one person alpha butyrin and niacinamide which are some hero ingredients for dark spot reduction now dermaco is a brand that believes in no filter and all of their products are fragrance free Dermaco has empowered over 15,000 plus students across the year with their Young Scientist Initiative. Every time you buy from them, they link your order to help educate a child along with Bhumi. Now, I follow it up with the 1% Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen. This is one of their new launches, which is a long-lasting sunscreen. It's a lightweight fluid-based sunscreen that easily gets absorbed and gives you a long-lasting protection. Sunscreen is extremely important, especially for the summer season that's coming up. Up, so make sure you stock up on your favorite sunscreens guys if you're interested in purchasing any of the Dermaco products you can use my code himani2024 to get 20% off on the Dermaco's website or you can shop from amazon flipkart nika as well they are available there i'll leave the links below do check it out and i have another empty which is from perfora it's their uh, basically oil pulling oil this one is their ayurvedic oil pulling in the variant coco mint i love doing oil pulling i think it's so important for your dental hygiene and yeah i finished this one up i will probably restock it i was thinking to just buy a regular coconut oil but i think like you know i will buy the same thing again and perfora is the best dental care brand so far that i have come across so i emptied this one then I actually have two, three mists. So first here I have is the Bath & Body Works Snowflakes and Cashmere Fine Fragrance Mist. I would got it during the fall season and it's all empty now. This was such a nice, sweet, subtle fragrance. It was like barely there, sort of a perfume. I'm not gonna buy it again next year when they come out with it, but yeah, it was a good one-time buy, like very soft, subtle scent. 
The next empty that I have is the Plums Body Loving Vanilla Vibes deodorant. I'm actually finishing up a lot of deodorants because I've been going to gym regularly and I usually use like these deodorants or body mist before going to gym. So I was using the Plums Vanilla Vibes for the longest time and it's finally over. I will not repurchase this because I've already got their Vanilla Caramello which smells so much better than this one. So yeah, I'm gonna skip on it but this is a very good, you know, decent purchase that you can consider buying and also it's super affordable. Then I finished up the Plum Body Loving's Driving Me Cherry Body Oil. Again, I have been regularly using body oil like, you know, once or twice a week. So yeah, I finished this one up and this one was a nice body oil like any other Plum Body Oil. I will not buy it again. Currently, I'm using the Victoria's Secrets body oil gel and they are so freaking good. They are a bit pricey, but worth every penny. So yeah, but it's a good product in the affordable category. Then I have a product that's not fully empty, but I do not even plan to empty it out. I've actually used it up on my body. And this one is the Dotton Keys Pomegranate Retinol Caffeine Eye Cream. I tried so much to like this product, but no, it did not. First of all, it does nothing to your eyes. I mean, I love the L'Oreal Under Eye Serum. Nothing can beat that. I, I would not recommend you guys to purchase this product. It's not really worth your money. Then I finished up the Ikai Berry Plush Face Souffle Mask. This is something that I purchased last year in the month of August. And finally I finished it up. It's a good, you know, calming mask. Nothing special, but it's not a bad product as well. Also, it's super affordable. I'm really not sure if it's still available. But yeah, it was a good, you know, souffle mask. The next one that I have is the Kama Ayurveda's Neem Tulsi Tea Tree Body Scrub. This one was like a small 50 gram tube. It was a nice scrub. I love the fragrance. It was so calming and nice. So yeah, I mean, I love Ayurvedic products. You guys know that. So this is another empty. Then I emptied out the Colgate Visible White Toothpaste. Pretty normal. I mean, this is what I've been using since years. I'm still using it. So yep. Then I have a mini one. This is something that I got from Smitten. It's the Pilgrim's Red Wine Face Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. To be honest, I really enjoyed using this serum. Eventually, I might consider buying the full size. Not right now, but this was not at all a bad serum. Really like this one from Pilgrim. Then I have this, another one from Smitten, which is the M Caffeine's Coffee Body Butter with Berries. I finished this up. I didn't really enjoy it that much. It was fine. Um, might not get it. Then I finished up the Plums Rice Water and Niacinamide 2% SPF Sunscreen, which was a mini one. Again, it's a good product. You guys know I really liked it. I will not repurchase it because I've already stocked up on my Dermago Sunscreen, but this is another good one. Next, I finished up the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter from Sol de Janeiro. Like, it's all gone. I love this. It's like a different, you know, thick, solid bar butter sort of a thing. It won't heavily moisturize your lips, but it'll at least ensure that your lips don't get chapped. And I really enjoyed using it. Plus, it's so nutty. I really liked it. I already have a backup of this because I'd got like uh, two of these for free from Nykaa's Pink Friday sale last year. So yeah, but I really enjoyed using it. It is a bit pricey. If you guys can afford it, uh, do get your hands on this because it's not a bad product. Then I have another body wash. This one is from Priya Medievals. I got it from Nykaa as a PR and it's their Happy Natural Shower Gel, which is good. I mean, it was fine, nothing special. If you want an affordable one, you can get this. Then I have three products from The Ordinary. I had got it during the Nykaa's Pink Friday sale and I had heard so much about Ordinary. I was like super excited to try it out. So first here I have is The Ordinary Squalene Cleanser, which is like a makeup remover come regular cleanser. It's okay. It's not really the best cleanser out there. I will not repurchase it. It's not a bad cleanser, but it's not even something great. You can find the same thing in any other normal cleanser. I mean to say even Himalaya's cleanser. So I'm going to skip on it. Now I have a lot to talk about the Ordinary's 10% Niacinamide Serum. First of all, it gave me horrendous breakouts. 
secondly it's so bad it kind of like foams up into a milky texture doesn't really get absorbed on your skin it's not even lightweight like a water or a gel based serum it's just a very bad texture i really ended up using half of the bottle on my body and it didn't even suit my body which was strange i think i spent wrong amount of money like i think this was for like 700 or 800 rupees and not at all worth it please do not buy the ordinary niacinamide serum lastly i have the ordinary's natural moisturizing hyaluronic acid moisturizer again this one was pilling up it will like come out as like these solid forms i used it together with the niacinamide serum still which is a bit strange and again not at all worth the money so please skip on it i think ordinary really disappointed me then i have one of my favorite products which i've already restocked i'm talking about the forest essential silken dusting powder it's a very very good like a must have powder and i love it and i really enjoy using it so i have already stocked up on it i think this is probably my 7th or 8th bottle that i'm getting rid of have is the find your happy place poolside pina colada body gel that i finished up it was a small trial one it was a really nice it's it smelled like beaches and some pina coladas i really enjoyed it might consider buying it during the summers Then I finished up the Cosrx Comfort Ceramide Cream. This is very expensive but worth every penny. It's like such a nice soothing ceramide moisturizer. You guys should definitely try this one out. Also, I really like the packaging. So minimal and nice. It's expensive but worth it. Then we have is the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. Again, really enjoyed using it. I finished it up. Might restock it during the winters. I've got the Dotton Key Sika Calming Skin Clarifying Toner, which again was lying with me for the longest time. Finally finished it up. It's a very nice toner, especially if you have acne-prone skin. Then I've got the Dove's Beauty Finish Moisturizing Deodorant. Again, this deodorant was like the classic. You guys know how much I love Dove deodorants. So if you're looking for an affordable duo stick, get your hands on the Dove one. I swear by them. Then I have a Sofromycin and a Koji Pick cream, which is like your prescription-based stuff. Uh, yeah, these are just like regular stuff. I've finished it up. We'll repurchase them. This time I've actually got a few makeup items. I can actually see a random one. Let me just talk about that. This one is the Sugar Cosmetics uh, Acne Pimple Aqualogic. It's called Aquaholic Clarifying Spot Gel for Pimples. I used it for the longest time. It does work in you know reducing your pimples. So if you are someone looking out for it, you can. But I think they probably stopped making this. You know, I I bought it like two years back. So coming to makeup I actually have a few makeup empties that I want to talk about first is this Blue Heavens uh Dip and Twist nail polish remover pretty decent but will not buy it again I think there are better brands like Swiss Beauty one is better than this Then I have the Sugar Cosmetics brown dip kajal sort of a thing this was like basically liner I finished it up quite a lot and now it's all dried and it's time to throw this one away will I buy it again no cuz I think now there are better brown you know liners available Then my favorite sugar all set to go translucent powder is over as you can see loved it this is something that everybody should have if you guys can get your hands on this please do cuz it's a beautiful translucent setting powder then i finally finished up the forest essentials gulabi nikhar cheek tint loved it i might consider buying it once all my other tints are over but it's a beautiful you know powdery matte finish cheek tint Then I've got a mascara. This one is the Maybelline Sky High mascara. I finally finished it up. Loved it. Might consider buying it again cuz yeah, I really enjoyed using this. Last two products are lip products. You guys know I mentioned this in my lipsticks as well. This one is the Lakme Absolute Matte Melt Mini Lipstick. This is such a beautiful shade. It's in the shade Nude Umbrella. Loved it. I have finished it up like It doesn't even work anymore. That's how much I've used this product. And the other one is from the Nykaa's Molten Matte Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade 02 Care Carefree. What is it? In the shade 02 Carey, which is a beautiful like a nude shade, but again this is over, so these are my two makeup empties. So guys, those were my product empties. I hope you all enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you do, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.